we looked at diagrams, right? And we learned that there were two main categories of diagrams that we can use to represent sets. Okay, the first one you're very, very familiar with, what's it called? A Venn diagram. Good. And what does it look like? What does it look like? Um, it looks like circles. Very good. That's right. So, you had something like this. Classic Venn diagram. After we looked at Venn diagrams, we then looked at saying, well, you know, you don't have to arrange it like this. All you need is to have four separate regions that can represent the same thing, right? So what was the other kind of diagram? Good, good. It starts the same way with this, you know, outer sort of rectangle, right? Which represents everything, okay? But then we broke it up like this. We said, look, you can just do four that way. That's all you have to do. And just to describe what's what, we added these little bits on the sides, okay, we might say, look, it's A and not A, B and not B, and then you've got represented exactly the same information, okay? So we looked at different kinds of diagrams. Today, we're going to look at different kinds of diagrams for different numbers of sets, okay? Because look at these. Both of these, despite their differences, same number of sets. How many? Two. Just two, right? So let's, uh, where we're going to start is, well, let's ramp it up. Let's ramp it up, okay? So if I wanted to say, take a Venn diagram and represent not just A and B, but A, B, and C, what would it look like? So we're going to do it a bit bigger. Now, it sort of makes sense. You're like, look, I have two circles here. I'll just do three circles, no problem. So let, let's draw this together, okay? You've got your universal set out here, okay? And you want to draw some nice, neat, Circles. Sweet. There you go. Okay. Now, before we move off this, let's think of an example. We had an A and a B before. Uh, from memory, I think we said A were the even numbers. Is that right? A were the evens. Yeah. Then we said B were the multiples of three. Okay. Uh, multiples of three. Okay. Now, what shall we pick as our third set? C. I suppose you could go multiples of two, three. Four, but four is a bit boring. Four is a bit boring because it's kind of so overlapping with this one. I'm just going to ditch it. Let's go up to five. Multiples of five. Okay. Now, I think we went and defined the universal set as numbers under 30. Is that right? Let's stay with, I think that's enough numbers for this. Let's go A up here, B over here, C here. Okay. Now, because there's this additional area and overlap, okay, just be careful. But draw yourself a new diagram and let's put in, let's put in all the numbers from 1 to 30. Obviously, we're very, very similar to your previous diagram, right? But there's going to be a little more detail to it. So I'll give you one or two minutes to catch that up, okay? Okay, now, just like before, okay, we saw that when you put it together with just A and B, just A and B, Different areas had different attributes about them, okay? So, for instance, if you have a look in here, this is 10 and 20. Obviously, this is 10 and 20. Why? It's going to be... Now, number one, you've got to be multiples of 2 and 5, so that makes you multiples of 10, if you think of prime factorization. Ah, but it's not just multiples of 2 and 5. It's only the ones that... Not every third one. You'd get 30 and 60 and 90 and 120 in here, if I kept going, right? Uh, and then you can see these other patterns which you recognize from before. Look, you're going to get multiples of 15 in here because it's 3 and 5. Anyway, no problem. Okay. But then you think about this. We have this Carroll diagram for two sets, and that works pretty happily, right? But if you wanted to replicate this, these three sets on a Carroll diagram, well, you'd kind of need to, like, you got one dimension, two dimensions, you got three dimensions, you'd have to come off the board, wouldn't you? Or do you? So here's my Carol diagram over here. Maybe you want to start drawing one as well. It'll need to be big enough to fit 30 numbers in it. Okay. How can we modify this two-set Carol diagram to be able to account for three sets? Okay. Now, yeah, Annie, suggestion. Do three by three. So I could do. Let's think about this for a second. How about doing it this way? This is this is three. Okay. Now. This is, a, this is not a bad suggestion because it does add in more regions, which is what I need, okay? 
But there's a problem with this. Before we move on to a different, a new idea, can anyone see why there's actually a problem with this? Like if each one of those was a region. Yeah. Because like in the actual diagram, the Venn diagram, there's eight yeah. sections. Good. You can't have nine sections. In okay, the so now this is very interesting. We're going to come back to this idea, but it is critical, right? So far this way in your head, this is a good idea, but it does break down. And by the way, in maths we do this all the time, okay? We think of ideas and we just, just, just try it. What do you got to lose, right? Nothing. But then we work out internal inconsistencies. We're going to come to this later when we look at um, the next topic, math error, okay? So count them up. We got one section here, or region, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By the way, I didn't do that order randomly. I wonder if you could work out how I did that order. But fair enough, I have eight regions. And here I got nine. This is clearly a dud, okay? So I can't do it this way. It was a good idea. But does anyone have any other suggestions? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're just you're just waving yeah, your hand. Right. That's fine. No problem. It's not easy. Yeah. Do you want to? Four wanna... by two. Four by two. Okay. So I could I could do it like this. Um, if I did one, two, three. There you go. Cool. I've got eight. Maybe like that's good. After the eight. Okay. So you're thinking yeah, maybe all right. If I have um, if I call these uh, well, if I go A and not A here, like so. Okay. And then, so I go B and not B. Is that a K? Yeah. So we're suggesting having C and not C here. Hmm. Now, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, all ah, uh, now, see, see, this is this is better in that it's got the right number of spots, but it's problematic because I'm missing some areas. For instance, let's think about thirty. Where would thirty go on this diagram? I need it to be A and B and C, and there isn't. Like this is A and B. This is A and C, but A, B, and C never overlap. Okay, so this is also a good idea, but we still wind up with a problem. One more. Anish, any suggestions? No, no, no. Yeah? So, like, what if you add instead of C down there next to the A? So, do you mean like. like change it in a... Where are you thinking of putting it? Just next to the A. Yeah. Oh, you mean like this? Having yeah. more? Yeah. No, like, but, um, and remove the C. Like, like down the bottom. No, that, that becomes a three button. Oh, you mean like this one? Yeah, get rid of the C. I think she means like miss the bottom right hand square and keep oh, the three by Oh, you mean square. like you mean like that? No, no. Again, How do you mean? Those two, yes. And then add another one to the side and make that. Up. You mean C and not C here? Yeah. But won't I have exactly the same problem? Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. The same problem. Yeah, one more. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, so I've got these now. Oh. Like that, you mean? Okay, now this is interesting. This is interesting, okay? Uh, is this going to work out? Uh, my question before was where do I put 30? Right, where do I put 30? Where would I put 30 on this diagram? Yeah, you I want A and B and C all together. Can I do it? No. I still can't. And I also have these extra regions, right? Okay, now, let's, let's pause for a minute. Let's pause for a minute. Because we can play this game for a long time, right? Let me show you how we did it with the Venn diagram, because maybe this will make sense, right? You can see that this diagram is just this diagram plus another circle, okay? But where we placed the circle was critical. For instance, I couldn't have placed the circle here. Can you see that that's a dud place to put the third circle? Why? It doesn't overlap with B. That's my problem. So I only add, I don't add enough extra regions. But instead, we chose to put C here, it overlaps with all of them. So what I need to do is modify this diagram so C overlaps with all four. Well, that's not that hard, is it? <laughs> How many regions have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check. If I call this inside, inside C, right? And if I call the outside not C, okay? So where would I put 30 now? I would put 30 here, right? I'll put it there. It would work. It's A and B and C all at the same time. Okay? So C is inside the square. And not C is outside the square. Okay? So, now let's replay this, okay? 
Where can I put all of my numbers? Um, let's think about these numbers out here. These guys, these, are they all prime? Yeah, they're all prime, okay? Where do all the primes go? They should be in the universal set, not A and not B and not C. Where is that? That's bottom right, good. So all of my primes go here. Uh, 1, 7, 11, 13. Uh, oh, this is out of order. That's okay, we got them all in there. Okay, does that make sense? Let's keep going. Look at this one. What's this region? This is A and B, but not C. A and B, but not C. That's these guys, right? The multiples of 6 except for 30. I'm going to get rid of these um, red numbers because I think they're confusing. Sorry. Because they are not part of the set. That was me counting up how many regions I had. That's better. Okay. So A and B, but not C. That's these multiples. 6, 12, 18, 24. Okay. And you can go from there. Let's, let's just finish it off. Um, what am I going to have here? This is C and A. A and C. A and C, but not B. So I've got... 10 and 20 in there. Is that okay? Um, I'm going to have 15. Where's that? That's going to be B and C. B and C, but not A. Yeah, that'll be 15. What's this one here? This is only C, not A, not B. That makes it 5 and 25. So look, see, there's my square. C, and it's got all of the multiples of 5, just like you'd expect. Okay. Now I've got two regions left. Which one's this? B. It's only B. Only B? So that should be 3, 9, 21, 27. And this one over here should be only A. Yes? 2, 4, 8, 14, 16, 22, 26, 28. And you can go and count to make sure we haven't missed any. Okay? So that's pretty cool, right? I quite like that. I think that's pretty good. Okay?